And into this video, we're gonna be talking about six accessories that you must own if you have a Ricoh GR3, GR3X, or some of the prior models. Now, these accessories are not only gonna make you look like a cooler photographer, but they're also gonna add a lot of functionality to the camera and making sure that your investment doesn't go in the garbage like it happened to my older Ricoh GR3X. So, let's go. Now, before I continue all the accessories that I'm talking about today, I'm gonna list them down in the description and I have no affiliate whatsoever. I'm just gonna make it a lot easier for you guys to find these products. And the first accessory that I'm gonna be talking about is going to be the lightweight strap. You must actually put this strap in this camera because this camera is very, very tiny. Compared to my hand, look at the size of this camera and we're talking about an APS-C camera. Now the grip of the camera is also not that meaningful and for that reason, you are gonna find yourself needing this or you may drop your camera, which is gonna be unfortunate and that happened to me several times. I've learned my lesson. The next thing that I'm gonna be recommending is the UV filter and I say stop this video, order one right now because it's super cheap and it's gonna save you from a lot of headaches. Now the first thing that you gotta understand is that every time you open or close the lens, the lens is gonna create kind of like a vacuum and thus it's going to get into your sensor. And as a matter of fact, this one is my second camera, my second GR3X. Now the first one has some dust in front of the sensor, but it wasn't you know, that bad for me to send the camera or try to clean it. So I continued to use the camera until I went on vacation with my family and we were at a beach and I dropped this camera in the sand. Now remember that my first tip was the strap. Well, I didn't have the strap and I dropped the camera in the sand. Now, if you're familiar with this lens, this lens has a cavity. The lens moves forward and backwards, you know, especially when it has to come out of the camera and to focus. And because of that, there's gonna be a lot of space right there that is gonna be prone to collecting dust. Now, imagine the sand going inside the lens, you know, in that cavity. I got sand all over the lens. So I tried to clean the lens, I couldn't basically do it. Ended up forcing the lens, broke the lens, the camera wouldn't close to the point that the camera wouldn't even turn on or off. So I completely destroyed my camera and I've learned my lesson. I actually unfortunately have to get a second one and I have the 28 millimeter as well and I have that now in both cameras. So to apply this thing is gonna be super simple and also has another added benefit, which is going to be the fact that when you wanna clean the lens, well now you're gonna be cleaning the UV filter it is actually flushed against the barrel rather than going inside with a Q-tip or whatever you're gonna be using and trying to clean a an spherical element. Now, when installing this, what I'm gonna recommend is that you carefully clean the lens with lens cleaner wipes, that's what I used, and also dust the lens all around just to make sure that you don't have any particles and then clean the surface of the barrel so you can actually stick this thing. This thing actually has a glue backing that you remove, peel it off, and aligns with the barrel. So it's pretty much seamless and you can even know that I have it on. Even when the camera closes, it doesn't affect the camera in any way. And it's something that I strongly recommend you get. Now I know that there are gonna be people worry or concerned about this UV filter affecting image quality, but because of the way this lens is designed, you're not gonna get any flaring or ghosting. And at least I couldn't tell in my images that image quality was compromised. So I recommend you get one. Worst case scenario, easy to remove. Now the next item I am going to recommend you get is going to be an additional battery and if you can, possibly two more batteries. This camera actually has terrible battery life. You know, at the most I get 45 minutes to an hour when continue shooting or at least leaving the camera on and you know, the camera doesn't do really good. But to be honest with you, I don't care. That's a great trade-off for having an APS-C sensor in such a small form factor. The lens and the image quality of this camera it's incredible. So at any given moment, I have one battery in my camera, two batteries in my pocket, and the next item that I have with me at all times, specifically when I travel, is this triple charger. Now this triple charger is gonna charge three batteries at one time. It also comes with a cable attached to the charger. You call it at the bottom, and when you need to charge your battery, you're good to go. Now the next thing that I recommend you do specifically on this camera is gonna be to install a screen protector on your screen. Now this screen is actually really good and also really fragile. I actually broke my screen on the other camera that I had sent. I dropped it before and I chipped one of the corners of the screen and the screen started to flake off 
And when I got my new one, of course, you know, I installed a screen protector and now that is my standard in every single camera. Now this is not gonna affect the operational of the touchscreen functionality of the screen. So for that reason alone, just buy them. I think they sell them in uh, boxes of three and they're very inexpensive. Now, the next thing that I got when I got my second camera was to get this lens cap that is specifically designed for the Ricoh GR3. And I actually have it on both cameras, as you can see. And even though I have the UV filter, I think that better be safe than sorry. You know, now I have another layer of protection in this camera because, you know, I'm kind of like a mess, you know, and sometimes I just put my camera in my bag and you can have your keys or whatever. You can still shatter that UV filter. It's pretty thin, actually. So with this, you know, I know that my camera is going to be protected if it's really snugged in the lens and it actually looks pretty cool. Take a look at that. Next item on the list is going to be this case. And this case is actually pretty cool and I don't like case for my cameras. But because this camera is so small and fragile in a way, I actually decided to buy and I bought two. One for this camera, which is the 40 millimeters, and one for the 28 equivalent. Now, the case, as you can see, has the GR logo engraved right over here. And this protrusion that you see on the lid is actually designed to fit the camera with the lens cap on. Now, to retrieve the camera is super simple. It has a super smooth surface all around. You just simply grab the camera like so. I recommend that you retrieve it from the strap. And remember to install this one and you can start shooting. It also has a hoop right over here and I wish it had a clip instead so I can clip it on my pants rather than actually have to remove my belt and put a belt around. But it also comes with a strap so you can actually attach the strap around the case on those lugs right over here and hang it all around your neck. So I would recommend this not only for shooting and walking around with the camera, but also if you're gonna be storing the camera in you know, a bag or a backpack or when traveling, it's gonna be much more secure because there are still a chance that you can actually damage the screen. So not a bad idea. And the last tip that I wanna mention is that you make sure that you cover all the holes that you see in the camera, specifically the microphones right here on the front and the speaker right at the bottom. Now, this camera can also shoot video, but I do not use it for video, kinda like I don't like it for video. Image quality is okay, but this is not a video camera, in my opinion. For that reason alone, you know, put scotch tape at the bottom, and if you ever have to record video, you can always remove it easily. Now, the reason why you wanna protect this camera is because, like I mentioned in the beginning, it's not built like a tank, even though the housing is made out of magnesium. You know, this camera has taken things to the whole next level. Giving us a lot of feature, this camera has a front dial, a back dial, buttons, you know, a mode dial, a hot Schumann right over here. So it's a pretty amazing camera. And I'm gonna be doing another video talking about all the specs. But at a glance, you have a 24 megapixel sensor, APS-C. So this is a large sensor and most cameras of this size are either one inch sensor or even smaller. So the Ricoh GR3 or GR3X or whatever Ricoh camera you own from this family GR is gonna give you images for a year to come if you actually take care of the camera with some simple and cheap solutions that are available. Like I mentioned before, I'm gonna list them down in the description. I don't make a dime out of this. You can go and shop elsewhere, but I'm gonna be listing all the items that I purchased on Amazon so you can get them too. Should you have any questions about the Ricoh GR, GR3, GR3X, Drop a comment down below and until then guys, I'll see you in the next video.